Hi guys, today I'm gonna talk a little about test and G test listeners and how to use them in your project. I am using three of them at my work. Uh, one to run fail test immediately after failure, uh, one to create nice test report, and one I'm using with South Labs to run all our tests on their servers. Uh, but there are many other ways how and why you can use them and now i'm going to show you one simple example how to set it up uh, test listener we will create today will just print message on start finish on success and on failure so uh, first of all let's go to base package uh, base and Let's create new class and let's call it test listeners. Test listener. This class uh, should extend test listener adapter class. So here, uh, let's try. Uh, well, maybe we can browse. Yeah, let's try test. Yeah, here it is. So test listener adapter. Let's select this class and finish. So now we have new class called test listener that extends test listener adapter. Now let's create four methods in this class and let's actually open the test listener adapter and here are four methods. Uh, yeah, let's use this on test success, on test failure, so copy and paste it into our class. Oh no, didn't copy. Yeah. So let's select them like this and let's paste them in our class. And uh, on start and on finish. So on start, on finish. Uh, let's remove everything from inside. Okay, so we have four uh, methods, they are empty. And well, let's just print some message inside of each of these methods. So system out, print line. And here, let's let's use what we have here. So we have test results, and from test results we can get test content, get test con text context, and from test context, as you already know, we can get current XML test and get it name get name so we got all this stuff and plus uh, oh test success let's just print test success and let's do the same for all of them so copy paste uh, only this one gonna be test failure. Uh, this one we already have text uh, test context. We don't have test results, so basically instead of tr dot get te test context, we can just use the text context already. Same here on finish. So uh, on start test start and on finish test finish just like that uh, now let's go to our test in gxml and let's add next let's copy uh, the name of this class test listener uh, test in gxml and here let's type next so listeners 
inside of listeners, listener one, just one. And here are methods with the with the package. So com dice base dot nr class name. So we added this test listener to our class. So basically now uh, to our uh, test in gxml. So now when we run our test in gxml file, first before running all these tests. It, it, it's gonna know that uh, it needs to listen to test listener and do whatever test listener says. And test listener says print test start on start. Then if if test pa passes, print test success. If if test fails, print test failure. And then on finish, print print test finish. So let's let's try. Let's run it. So right click on test ng XML. Run as test ng suit. Uh, hold on, let's just wait. Chrome, Firefox, Okay, uh, finished. So now let's look at the console. So you see before before method setup, we already have this uh, test name and test start. So this message. So test name plus test start. Then uh, Chrome. As soon as verifications on Chrome finished. We have this login test Chrome test success and then finish. And same for Firefox text test success and finish. Uh, so all comments are here. So everything is working and that's it for today.